Hey everyone, I'm here to talk today about the MarkForge Metal X process. It's a simple, safe, and cost-effective method to go from design to functional metal part. There are three steps in this process, printing, washing, and then sintering. First, let's start with CAD. You design your part, then export to STL and upload into Iger. Iger is a cloud-based slicing and print management system that comes with every MarkForge product. This automatically configures your part based on the material and printer you've selected. When your part slices for metal 3D printing, it gets scaled up to account for shrink and deformation in the downstream processes. It then slices your part into discrete layers, identifies overhang features, and builds supports and a raft underneath your part. As we go through printing, washing, and sintering, Iger will monitor the part's progress along the way. Let's start this print and go to the Metal X. Before starting a print, the machine automatically maps and levels the bed to ensure the first layer goes down well. Your print is built of two materials stored in this heated chamber above. One of a ceramic release material and one of the metal to be printed. This filament material is metal powder safely suspended within a two-part plastic binder. It gets heated and extruded onto the build plate where the part is created layer by layer. The release material gets extruded as an interface between the part and its supports so that once your part comes out of the furnace, it's easy to remove. Unlike other metal 3D printing systems, this process does not require loose metal powder, resulting in a safer and more cost-efficient workflow. 17.4 stainless steel is loaded now. However, with a quick changeover, the system is capable of printing in stainless steels, tool steels, coppers, inconel, along with several other materials currently in development. Once your part is finished printing, you'll get a notification. At this point, you can go to the printer, remove the part from the build tray, and clear the bed. Now we have what's called a green part. It doesn't really look or feel like metal, however, a large part of it is comprised of metal powder. Next step, we'll be putting it into wash one for the debind process. The wash one removes the first stage of the binding material. A green part is taken from the printer and placed into the wash basket, which is then lowered into the solvent. Wash times will vary, ranging from a few hours to a few days, depending on the thickest region of your part. After that, it's now called a brown part and is ready for sintering. Let's go over to the furnaces. This is Sinter 2, a furnace designed for mid-volume production runs and larger printed parts. Sintering transforms a print from a lightly bound collection of metal powder to a fully finished metal part. First, the temperature ramps slowly to burn away the trace amounts of remaining binding material. Then, temperature ramps closer to the melting point of the material, allowing metal particles to start to fuse together to create a strong metal part. Mark IV sintering furnaces use a carbon-free retort to ensure part quality and alloy composition standards are met for our finished pieces. Each run takes about a day and can be monitored remotely using the Iger software. Once a run is complete, the setter tray full of finished metal pieces can be removed from the furnace. Once removed from the raft, these parts are ready for use. In the furnace, the layer of printed release material between supports and the rafts and your printed part remains powderized. This allows the structure to be tacked to the raft to better control shrink and accuracy throughout the process, but also an easy release after sintering. At this stage, your part is fully sintered and ready to be used. It can be post-machined, polished, or otherwise processed as necessary for the final application, but in many uses, the accuracy and strength are good enough as is. It's ready for install. Check out markforge.com for more information about our simple, safe, and cost-effective method of metal additive manufacturing. Designed as an end-to-end -end solution, the Studio System is the first and only to deliver office-friendly metal 3D printing. The three-part system, the printer, debinder and furnace, integrates with secure web-based software to deliver a seamless workflow to go from digital file to sintered part. Fabricate Software constructs build plans from STL or native CAD files. Based on the user-defined parameters, material and part geometry, Fabricate automatically adjusts the design for part shrinkage, constructs advanced support, and determines optimal orientation. The user can interact with the part and view precise toolpaths through a dynamic interface. It then creates a unique build plan and identifies compatible parts from the queue that can be fabricated together. The system brings a wide range of critical alloys to 3D printing. Each alloy undergoes rigorous qualification by world-leading material scientists whose expertise is at the core of the studio system technology. Safe to handle hot swappable media cartridges and quick-release print heads 
allow for easy material changes in a matter of minutes instead of hours or even days with other systems. In a process called bound metal deposition, metal rods, metal powder held together by wax and polymer binder, are heated and extruded onto the build plate, shaping the part layer by layer, similar to an FDM printer. The printer features automatic extruder calibration and bed leveling, based on a software analysis of the parts to be printed. There are two extruders, one dedicated to printing metal and the other for an interface layer printed between the part and its supports. With no loose metal powder or hazardous lasers, this process eliminates safety requirements often associated with metal 3D printing, while enabling new features like closed cell infill for lightweight strength. During the print, a removable print sheet is held in place by the vacuum bed beneath it, providing a smooth, secure platform. Once the print is complete, the vacuum disengages and the print sheet in part are easily removed from the printer. The flexible sheet is designed to allow for easy removal of the part without damaging it during transfer. In the debinder, the parts are immersed in fluid. As primary binder is removed, an open pore structure is formed throughout the part in preparation for sintering. With a low emission design, it requires no external ventilation. Automatic fluid distillation and recycling means there is no need to refill between each cycle. Once the cycle is complete, the parts are ready to go into the furnace, no protective gear or drip dry required. Fully automated and sized to fit through an office door, the furnace delivers industrial strength sintering in an office-friendly package. The furnace features two onboard gas canisters that are easily removed and equipped with RFID tracking devices. It is equipped with a disposable binder cold trap liner for safe and easy disposal of binder removed during sintering. Built-in temperature profiles are tuned to every build and material to ensure uniform heating and cooling. Heated to temperatures near melting, remaining binder is removed and metal particles fuse together, causing the part to densify up to 96 to 99.8%. Designed to simplify post-processing, the ceramic release layer printed between the part and its supports doesn't bond to the metal, enabling separable supports that are easily removed by hand. The result is a near net shaped part with the strength, accuracy and resolution needed for functional prototyping. The studio system brings metal 3D printing to the engineer, providing the only safe, cost-effective and easy-to-use solution for printing complex metal parts in-house.
Metal 3D printing could change much of the world around us if it was fast enough and cheap enough for mass production. Introducing the production system, powered by single-pass jetting. At up to 100 times faster than laser-based systems, it's the first metal 3D printing solution for mass production. It works by combining two powder spreaders and one print unit into a single pass system to both spread metal powder and print. Unlike existing metal 3D printing, there is no wasted motion with single pass jetting. A single pass starts in the powder spreader, where a metering system deposits metal powder and a compacting system forms a layer as thin as a human hair. The print bar follows, jetting droplets of a binding agent. Millions are jetted per second, binding metal powder to form high-resolution layers. Anti-sintering agents are then deposited, making it possible for supports to fall off after sintering, saving hours of post-processing. Once the layer is dried, the process repeats itself. Single-pass jetting is bi-directional. We combined all the necessary steps for printing into a single pass, so that whenever there is movement, there is printing. This makes it possible to print parts in minutes instead of hours. Once printed, the build box is depowdered and brown parts are arranged onto sintering trays and placed into the furnace. A closed-loop thermal control system regulates temperatures in real time as parts are heated to just below their melting point. Remaining binder is removed and metal particles are fused to form a dense solid. Desktop Metal's proprietary software manages the entire workflow from print to sintered part and is designed to easily integrate with existing in-house digital factory infrastructure to produce metal parts. The result is sheer throughput. In the time it takes laser-based processes to produce just 12 impellers, desktop metal single-pass jetting technology would have produced over 500. To date, metal 3D printing has been too expensive and too slow to change the world around us. At up to 100 times faster than existing technologies, the production system unlocks the cost per part needed for mass production. For the first time, it's possible to go to market with metal 3D printing.